Are you tired of step-up rings? Are you tired of your lens filters not fitting on all the lenses you have? Do you feel shackled by the need to use step-up rings? Enough! Introducing the one ring to rule them all. The Revo Ring Black Mist fits on every lens you have. Just hold and release. And just like that, it sits on your lens and looks magnificent. Hey, it's John Beer. So happy to see your beautiful face. And today I'm going to talk about the H&Y Black Mist Revo Ring. In this video, I'm going to introduce to you what a black mist filter is, and then I'm going to tell you why the H&Y Revo Ring Black Mist is so awesome. Lately in the camera world, the black mist filters have been all the rage because these filters add a very nice, soft hue to everything. In this age where we all have 4K digital cameras, things tend to look a little too sharp sometimes. And I know a lot of camera people, myself included, we want more of a soft image. And that's where something like a black mist filter comes in. Basically what a black mist filter does is that it smooths things over and it gives things a little soft glow, I could say. That's the best way to describe it, honestly, but don't take my word for it. Let's just look at some example images so you get the idea of what this thing actually does. You will notice the smoothening effect most pronounced when you're looking at light sources. Notice how the glow of the candles becomes a little spread out and soft. Rather than having these hard edges that digital cameras usually give us, we get this nice halo effect. And the halo effect doesn't just apply to light sources, it applies to people as well, the skin. It gives people's skin a more glowing effect, which is quite pleasant to look at. Now personally, I believe that a black mist filter shouldn't be used all the time. The best times to use a black mist filter is usually for music videos or narrative work, in my humble opinion. For example, you wouldn't use a black mist filter when you're filming sports events. For sports, you want things to be sharp and easy to see. You don't want things to be smudged out and aesthetic. And I know saying smudged out sounds kind of negative, but I mean that in a good way. Like when you're watching old movies, things are a little more smudged out. So personally, I feel like these filters give your modern cameras and modern lenses a more of a vintage character. And that is super cool. Now, why is the Revo ring specifically the one to go for? Well, here's the thing. When you have many lenses like I do, the size of your lenses differ quite a lot. And so let's say you like the black mist look. Well, you would have to buy a specific filter for every single lens to fit all of them. Or you would have to use step up rings. And man, using step up rings is such a headache. I personally, I hate them. I've had to use them quite a lot in the past, but they really suck. I've even had a case where they got stuck onto the lens. Fortunately, I found a way to get rid of them, uh, get them off. I can link that video somewhere down below. And this is the problem that the Revo ring solves. You see, when you turn it, it closes in on itself. And then when you let go, it snaps in place. So with this, theoretically, you can fit it on any lens within the range of, let's see, 67 millimeters and 82 millimeters which covers a very wide range of lenses. The Revo ring is also available in 46 mm to 62 mm range. And both of the versions have three different grades, which is 1 8 1 4 and 1 2nd or half. This alludes to the intensity, with 1 8 being the least intense. The one that I'm using in this video is 1 4 It's such an elegant solution to me that it's kind of unbelievable to me that we didn't really have these until quite recently. As far as I know, H&Y that sent me this filter are the only ones that make the Revo ring. It's uh, completely an invention of them. And so if you go with any other company, you're gonna have to buy separate filters for every single lens. Whereas if you buy the Revo ring, one ring will fit most of your lenses, which is quite cool. The Revo ring comes with a lens cap as well, which is magnetic. 
just like that, pretty cool. So you can keep this on your camera at all times and you just use the magnetic lens cap. And you get a back cover as well that you can attach by attaching it the same way you would attach a lens, like that. If you do like the black mist aesthetic and you have many lenses of varying sizes, then it only makes sense to get the HNY Revo ring. They also make Revo ring with variable ND filters, which is awesome. And uh, I use variable NDs all the time. So this one is already in my shopping cart. I just find myself to be a huge fan of the design and how to operate this thing. It just feels very cool when it snaps onto place onto your lenses. Like this, this solution is so elegant. I love it. You twist, you hold, and then you release. So easy, so brilliant. And then when you want to take it off, do the same thing. You twist, you hold, you release. Twist, hold, release. Twist, hold, release. Now it's only fair to say that H&Y did send this to me for me to review, but I have no obligation to say anything positive about the thing at all. But I am someone who really likes the black mist aesthetic, and I do have a black mist filter from before that doesn't fit all my lenses. So this product solves my particular problem. So if it solves your particular problem too, then it's a good product. There is only one thing that I can think of to improve the black mist Revo ring. Just, just one thing that bothers me. It's not a big thing, but it's a small thing, but it's worth mentioning because it has happened to me a few times. And that one thing is that this lens filter sometimes gets stuck for me. Oh, the magnet is quite strong. <laughs> Um, but it should be, it should be strong. If it's not strong, then it's not gonna sit on your cap. So that's a, that's a good thing. Things that I think they could improve is, for example, when you turn the ring and you turn it all the way, sometimes it can get stuck. So let's see, no. Of course, it never gets stuck when you're trying to demonstrate it. Oh. It happened to me a few times where it gets stuck when you do all the way like this. And uh, I would have to like, tap it a few times for it to snap back. So if they can somehow figure out a way for it not to get stuck, that would be amazing. Oh, there you go, got stuck. And this time I, I wasn't even trying to make it get stuck. So, you know, it requires you to tap it a little bit. There, off. It's not a big deal and if you know about it, you know, you can easily solve it, but it's there and it's, you know, it's happened to me when I try to put it on the lens, put it on, and it doesn't snap and it's like, oh, oops, I have to tap on it a few times. Well, that's it. If you like the Black Mist aesthetic, consider the Revo Ring. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you want to support the channel, the best way is just to like and comment and subscribe. That tells YouTube that this is good content worth watching. My name is John Bear. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.